That's not the settings. Halt! Stop right there, criminal! Well, what's a fella gotta do to wander these halls freely? That's simple enough. You just gotta grab a holly pass. But you're not gonna get one without a damn good reason, though. So don't get your hopes up, buster. Holly pass? Don't you mean hall pass? <laughs> no, they changed it on account of how great I am at this job. No, they didn't. Yes, they did. Nope. <laughs> yes, huh? Nuh-uh. Um. Yes, huh? Times a million. <laughs> Damn, she has more yes, huhs than me. You win this round. <laughs> I was about to say, I just... Holly's been riding my ass since day one. I gotta find somebody who can help me make a fake hall pass. Then I can wander around freely without her constantly breathing down my neck. Okay, can, uh, can I just change what I'm playing now? It's <laughs> a thank you. <laughs> I already can tell I'm gonna enjoy this game a lot. <laughs> like, I always love side eye and happiness. Okay, I can do without the two kissing in the background this, since this entire scene has been going off. Wait, is that your name, Cope? Okay. touch like a talk I thought it would just eat it <laughs> so it's gonna be more of a point and click adventure I'm already excited ah oh, combining items too <laughs> escape from my notebook so I have chores, things I'm currently working on, map, trophies, costumes I can wear, ooh, okay, nice, settings, the settings is what I want to get to because you're loud. That's it, okay, cool, thanks, thanks for the help, buddy. Okay, well fuck me, I, apparently I wanted to go into settings, but apparently there is no settings. <laughs> Like, that's, that's twice of, or three times I played a game that didn't have any settings. <laughs> so I can't change the audio. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, I can actually change my whole style. We're not gonna miss out on the evil butt face that's going on right there. <laughs> damn, the door's locked. I've always wondered what creepy stuff the janitor keeps in there. Uh, I, considering a Sinai happiness, I would not want to know. Hey, uh, guys, would you mind uh, stepping aside so I can get into my locker? Uh, make out noises. <laughs> uh, excuse me. Mm, yeah, that's a good feeling. Uh, hello. <laughs> I like that. Okay, oh, I got choices now. Boy, you two sure are going at it. Hot and heavy, huh? Hey, the school bell. They won't give a fuck about that. <laughs> you know, this is actually starting to turn <laughs> ah, I'm going to choose just this stupid choice. You know, this is actually starting to turn me on. Shit. He's really creeping me out. <laughs> you perverted little shit! I'm trying to suck face with my babe! <laughs> I just can't help it. It's like watching two earthworms sumo wrestle. I just want to stare harder. <laughs> That's it! I can't do this here! There's a great spot under the bleachers outside where we can continue our mega makeout session. Totally. Okay. But first... Hey everyone! Coop's a pervert who likes to watch us make out! <laughs> <laughs> I guess everyone Wait, what he just... still has its perks. 
We're not gonna. That's where I keep all my Never stuff. Mind. And where people often stuff me. It was bad. Damn it! It's jammed shut from all the times I was smashed into it by bullies. I could pop it open if I had a pencil. After graduation, I'll miss having my head slammed into you, old buddy. <laughs> this guy really likes to mull over his book purchase decisions. I really shouldn't. I wouldn't want to interrupt his train of thought and make him start over his entire decision process. Nah, I'm still gonna do it. What you looking at? I'm trying to pick out a new book to read. What kind of books do you like? I like all kinds of stuff, really. Basically anything that doesn't focus on a meek protagonist trying to help people out in an apocalyptic setting. Boring. Uh, <laughs> okay. yeah, I meekly agree. Need help finding something? <laughs> Absolutely not. Well played, uh, skeptical book guy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> eh, the movies were better. I can't go there without a hall pass. I don't think you can go anywhere without a hall pass, unfortunately. I'll leave the wedgies to the professionals. Stop. A delicious wedge of the door variety. I like you. I'll call you wedgie. <laughs> Looks wet to me. Stop. <laughs> it's okay. I can wait till he finishes. Say, are you done yet? Other people are thirsty too, you know. I tried to break the world record for consuming the most water. I just started. Uh, careful. <laughs> you know you can die from drinking too much water, right? That is true. Then I beat the record for the youngest person to die of a water poisoning. Either way, That's... Wait, I what? The I simultaneously question and admire your dedication. <laughs> also, your ability to speak while drinking. Yeah, yeah, I admire that the most. I'm president of the Pen15 Club, according to Kent. Do you have a lot of pent-up rage? Oh no. Oh no way. If I take these pens, then I'm responsible for returning them. I just can't handle that kind of pressure right now. I agree. <laughs> Mr. Barry sure has a lot of papers to look through. It's a good thing he's criminally underpaid. <laughs> There's no reason to take shot to teachers like that. Hey, Mr. Barry, how's history class going today? Today? That would make it present class, would it not? <laughs> Just a little history Stop. class humor for you, Coop. Stop. She looks like you have a lot of papers to grade. Do you have any deep things uh mind if i take your pen mind if i take one of your pens sorry but each of those pens has a long history to it i'd be huh? happy to go into great detail about the history of each pen no and after that we can talk about the history of pens and no i think i'm good who needs netflix when you can talk about history 24 7 am i right i hate you <laughs> yeah no thanks i just wanted a pen well, my desk isn't an office supply store, so you'll have to find one elsewhere. Yeah, it is. Speaking of office supply stores, would you like to know the history behind office supplies? Like no. Coffee no, no, I clips? wouldn't. Stop. I'd be happy no. To talk with you about Leave me alone, Mr. Mr. Barry. <laughs> Sounds fascinating, but no. Then a rain check it is. <laughs> do you have any deep philosophical things you'd like to tell me about the past? Sure do. Those who don't learn from the past are doomed. Doomed to repeat it? No, just doomed. <laughs> That's kind of scary. Yeah, but it sure gets my students to study harder. Okay. Sure looks like you have a lot of papers to grade. Ah, uh, yes. But did you know the history behind paper? Uh, oh my it god. Comes from trees. Mr. Barry is a teacher yes, I would never want at all. It <laughs> was invented way back in CE 104 by Kai Loon. A Chinese politician from the Han Dynasty. Gee, that's fascinating. <laughs> Isn't it though? You kids wouldn't learn something like that from your damn video games. Rude, hell, actually we would. I play Dynasty Warriors, that, that still counts. <laughs> okay. That's historical you, things Barry. of the well, Chinese culture. The <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> History humor. Sure, but maybe I should just toss myself in jail now. You know, bypass all the formalities. <laughs> Judging by her expression, I don't think she cares much about history. Guess that's her story. Stop. A fucking her story joke 
you will not I will not let you get away with that. Hey Jennifer, what's up? Shh. Not now. I'm trying to study. Are you really trying to study? That's the real question. Greg has the most twisted face I've ever seen on a human being before. It's as if Dolly painted his face, like someone nailed an egg to the wall. It's a real shame you can't see it. <laughs> Thanks, but I'll touch my own face next time I'm feeling gropey. <laughs> Holy crap! What happened to your face, Greg? I know, it's horrible, right? <laughs> and he even put the ship in front of his face. <laughs> oh, you think that's bad? I'm living with it. <laughs> I love this. It's a mostly eaten apple. I guess that means it'll mostly keep the doctor away. Look at you up there. Get off your high horse. A rotten Just apple. Slamming your bag. There's a sleeping beauty somewhere that'll be my prom date. The humor here needs to stop. <laughs> the levels of it. What's older, this school or these books? At least they. Oh well. <laughs> At least they read everything for me. Uh, I don't want any of these boring books. Uh, what? Go ahead and take Your one. Your history bookshelf. Got them. <laughs> these colors don't run, and right now they won't even flap. Uh, these colors don't talk. I shouldn't touch that. My hands are covered in boogers. Oh god, ew. I can't tell if these blinds are keeping the light out or the darkness in. You know, I have questioned those before. Uh, you're good at what you do, blinds. I hear vitamin D is good for you, so I better leave these open. <laughs> hmm, four legs and a seat. I can't be certain, but I think it's a chair. <laughs> What's it like being a chair? Inquiring butts want to know. I'd prefer to touch with my eyes, not my hands. I agree. Hey, look, it's the world with all its imaginary borders. Now I just gotta Hello, fully world. explore. This, this is this is gonna be an addictive game to explore. I don't want to break it and be the guy responsible for the world's destruction. I fucking hate you. <laughs> timeline poster of when your mom was born. <laughs> poster? I barely knew her. <sighs> I'll leave this timeline where it is. My hatred level's going up this already. This turns the lights on and off. Wow. <laughs> Keep it up, my switches. You're doing great. I touched it. I didn't flip the switch, but I touched it. Oh, come on. Huh, it's been emptied. Did we get a new janitor? You're trash, and you'll always be trash. Got him. <laughs> Just because it's empty doesn't mean it's clean. No thanks. I mean, yeah, fair enough. I wonder if any of these puppets became real boys. Wait, what? I have absolutely nothing to say to all these presidents. Oh, oh, okay, I get it. I, I got it. No, okay, we're going on that route. I get it. <laughs> I'm glad this isn't a scratch and sniff. All right, Alice. No worries. I'm also gonna upload this to YouTube. Sometimes I dream of prying that vent. Auto demos I played. Inside it and pretending I'm in Die Hard. It's okay. You can vent. I'm listening. <laughs> I swear nope. to God. <laughs> Some dreams just aren't meant to be. It's a speaker to tell us about lunch, the weather, incoming active shooters, you know, the usual. <laughs> it talks to me, not the other way around. I mean, no, that's not actually true, because some teachers do have buttons to where they can just communicate with the office. I get it. I'm short. <laughs> oh, it's a bell. How thrilling. Ah, fuck yeah, I love talking to the bell. <laughs> I get it. I'm short. Yes, you are, and don't these you forget like it. Quizzes from last week. Are these gonna get graded or? Eh, that's how I feel. Hey, Coop, what did you do today? Oh well, I just talked to these sheets for no goddamn reason. Yeah, you're damn right, you did. Take one. Teacher says cheating equals a beating. 
<laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> this chalkboard is just full of interesting facts. <laughs> just kidding. Who gives a shit? Uh, yeah. I didn't take any notes on this. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, indeed. Why would I go and do a thing like that? Because reasons? Duh. This must be the history teacher's diary. It's a sad history lesson. This red book connects you directly to the president. And accidentally learn something? I think not. <laughs> this is where all the magic happens, so to speak. Wait, excuse me? Uh, no. Teacher says talk to the desk and get stabbed in the chest. <laughs> 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 wow, this poster's really smooth. I'm impressed. I better not touch that desk. Teacher says touches equals crutches. Okay, this this is probably look the best teacher. <laughs> Never mind, we're going to history. Hey, Forgot look, why. A bunch of flags. I don't even know what's in there, and it's probably none of my business. Your contents are of no interest to me, Box. I'll just move along. Grandma says, never put your hands on a box without permission. Yeah, Grandma was wise. That clock is slow. I think it was held back twice in the fourth grade. Stop. Time is meaningless. I get it. I'm short. Ah, a chair. Or as I like to call them, broken toilets. What? Excuse me? In case you're alive, I'd like to apologize on behalf of my people for all the farts. Yeah. Fair enough. No need to touch this one. A chair like this touches you. Uh, sure. <laughs> Looks like this one escaped its bottle. I've never been much of a ship talker. Really? <laughs> These fucking dad puns. <laughs> there are good puns and there are dad puns. Stop would, the dad puns. I get seasick. And that's a dad pun. Can we not? <laughs> ah, a 19th century cathedra. Perfectly carved to comfort the butt cheeks of all the lords and ladies. Okay, so there's more dialogue on certain ones. Ah, a night. What up, chair? Feels like a chair. Fascinating. Looks like he's in the zone, so I better not disturb him. Yo, hello, what's up? This is the funniest game I've played yet. The ancient Mayans used to draw these S's because they're so easy to draw. <laughs> You're not fucking wrong. That, that is actually legit true. Everybody in our fucking high school, or no, not high school, middle school to like one below it. Is like, <laughs> always used to draw those. Okay. Good sticker. I touched it. My life is no better or worse having done so. <laughs> it's only funny just because people used to like sell this crap. They, if you wanted, if you wanted somebody to draw, you had to either give them gum or actual money. Just toss a banjo my way and call me Steve Martin. Okay, stop that. How do I know that's not gonna start pumping out poisonous gas any minute? Come out to the coast. We'll get together. Have a few laughs. I can't reach it, but boy, do I wish that I could. <laughs> Pretty sure this thing hasn't been inspected in the last 40 years. Oh, yeah, you're going to do the whole, uh... So, when you're not alarming people, what do you like to do in your spare time? Right? There, I pulled it. Nothing happened. That can't be up to code. <laughs> well, you're all fucked, then. <laughs> This is the right class. No, okay, no, this is a different class. Gotta love those elements. Oxygen is my favorite. I'm a bit of an addict. <laughs> I mean, aren't we all? Hey, can you lend me a few elements? Under the table? No, but you stop that. Hmm, nope. It's not a scratch and sniff. Damn, I was looking forward to the sulfur one. <laughs> yes, yes, it's a really nice trash can. You talking trash? Have I made that joke already? Probably. 
So nice, I said it twice, right? Never gets old. Rifle through discarded science lab experiments? That's gonna have to be a hard no. <laughs> oh, it's a bell. How thrilling. Ah, fuck yeah, I love talking to the bell. I get it, I'm short. Time is meaningless. Okay, so you repeat the same this thing for the last class. I used after Brittany colored in my eyeballs with Sharpies. Huh? I wish you'd start the conversation for once. Really? My eyes don't need to be washed. I washed them last week. How how would one wash their eyes? This poor guy's missing bits and pieces. Will you go to prom with me? Finally, I can explore someone's anatomy. I can see your dick from here. <laughs> okay, wow. <laughs> You're not a microphone. Really? Not a microphone. <laughs> Unless I'm getting school credit for it, there's no need to use the microscope. There's a little tiny society in there, just trying to make a living. Puny Petri people, I am your god. There, I crushed the tiny organisms in this dish. Happy? Yes. Don't people in France, like, eat these? <laughs> Let's have a heart to heart. Why do you feel the need to appear so rugged? It's a little too late for CPR. It's a dissected frog. And probably tomorrow's lunch. Wait, what? Excuse me? No, hell no. You know, Mr. Dead Frog, sometimes I envy you. Well, okay, shit. Went straight to the dark side of that. This doesn't seem very consensual. I could commit a tiny murder with these. <laughs> Looking sharp, boys. No way. I could cut myself. <laughs> That's a weird way to sit on a stool. Wait, oh. <laughs> what you reading? I stumbled upon some weird report on a massive supply of toxic chemicals under the school. Seems to be like a secret lab or something. Sounds like a ridiculous conspiracy theory with no truth to it whatsoever. <laughs> well, you might be right. Just like you're right about 9-11. Here, this will prevent the government from reading your mind when you play with yourself. <laughs> really? This tinfoil hat will keep my thoughts from being transmitted to the mothership. <laughs> I gotta run. Talk to you later. I'm unpopular enough without molesting students. Let's keep it that way. <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> that is not what we're going for, but okay. <laughs> they look like cabinet drawers, but they're not. Your entire existence is a lie. None of these open. They're just false fronts. Ah, uh, yeah. I've been through that before. It's a pretty excellent sample of a stool. But yeah, dude, I'm just sitting here chilling and playing some demos. This is probably going to be my last one for tonight because my allergies are acting up. Grandma always says talking to stool ain't that cool. I'm not going to sit down until I find a prom date. This is a Bunsen burner. They're used for burning members of the Bunsen family. <laughs> that is... Oh, all right. <laughs> I thought burners were cell phones made for drug dealers. Could be. <laughs> Ouch! They're still hot! Oh, my bad, dude. Mm, sugar. What every growing child and future diabetic needs. <laughs> A spoonful of sugar helps the medicine go down. But an entire bag can make anything go down. Wait, no, well, yeah. Ah, sugar. Everything a growing kid and future diabetic needs. You, what are you up to? She looks a bit unsure of what to do with those chemicals. It kind of makes me nervous, to be honest. Yeah. Mixing some chemicals, eh? What are you making? According to my calculations, this should make either some silly putty or a deadly noxious gas. Um, oh, I uh, see. Hmm. Could you find out after I leave the room? Thanks. Right. I wouldn't want to startle her. She might drop those chemicals and cause the entire school to explode. Imagine that, a chemical explosion happening in this school. That'd be crazy. <laughs> a hilarious poster promoting edutainment. Technically speaking, we all have our eye on each other. Pretty gross. <laughs> it's for looking at, not touching at. If you think learning science is for squares, well, okay, yeah, judging by those frames, maybe it is.
Oh, well, he's deep in slumber. I can't deny it. I really want his glasses. Just take them. Yep, it's a pooter. It's a pooter. Computer, initiate self-destruct sequence. Is that from the, the fucking Alexis the joke? Or the desire to use it. Is that seriously how babies are made? It's a chalkboard, not a talkboard. Ah, it could be both. I worry if I touch it, I'll interrupt the cycle of life. Or even worse, I'll get pregnant. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, all right, buddy. <laughs> hmm. So this is what we look like naked. And here I thought our ultra skinny arms and legs were a genetic defect. <laughs> are you assuming my bone structure? Yes. I've got my own bones to touch. Thanks. Eh, you can touch other people's Grandma bones. Hates this evolution poster because she says evolution is a myth, like birth control. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> all right, Grandma. I'm gonna need you to calm down. Hey, don't look now, but you're being followed by monkeys. <laughs> Over millions of years, humans have evolved hands just to touch this poster. Okay, is there anything else I've missed? This switch turns the lights on and off. Wow. Allergies, hold on. Let me blow my nose. And we're back. <laughs> I'm actually loving this game. Uh, let's go. Keep it up, my switches. Okay, yeah, he just repeats the same thing if it's the same object. Bright lights. Lighten up, will ya? Ha! Got him. I get it. I'm short. What's this one? Scientist Francis Crick was on LSD when he came up with the double helix theory. Don't do drugs, kids. <laughs> unless you want to be a scientist. Uh, well, okay, I guess scientists do drugs now. <laughs> I feel my brain learning as we speak. Uh, nope. Forgot already. Yeah, it seems about me. Grandma says to never touch anyone's DNA. I think I know what she means. <laughs> Just not the same DNA way you're thinking. DNA that must belong to something that's pretty fucking massive. <laughs> <laughs> You're the brainchild of a scientist who is on a drug hallucination. Be proud. I can walk my hands down these like a beautiful finger princess. It's a speaker to tell us about lunch. Uh, please. Vials that look empty but are overflowing with 78% nitrogen, 20% oxygen, and 2% nerd breath. Nerd breath, really? I think you're vile. Got him. <laughs> I don't want to make any test tube babies. Wait, what? That Erlenmeyer sure knows how to make a good flask. My scientific deduction concludes that it won't talk back. You don't know that. I'd rather not have my fingerprints on this when it inevitably turns up as evidence in a meth lab bust. Oh, okay, so you're just making map. You just half snitched on yourself. Full. Honestly, though, who cares? Hello. I have no idea what's in there. It might turn me into a horrible mutant. After watching Cyanide and Happiness, I can definitely see that. It's a microscope. When you look into it, you can faintly see how much I give a shit. <laughs> Focus, <laughs> damn you! Unless I'm getting school credit for it, there's no need to use the microscope. Yeah. This looks like a great beaker for holding chemicals. I'm so happy I found a perfect home in this lab. Oh, okay. Beaker? <laughs> I barely knew her. Buzzing. No, you were not buzzing that. You stopped it. As much as I'd love to carry it around, it just end up breaking, and the shards would somehow find a way to puncture my lungs. Oh, okay, <laughs> buddy. <laughs> All of this lab equipment is older than I am. Sleep tight, beakers and beakettes. If I break anything, I'm dead meat. I better just leave him alone. Oh, wait, there's drawers down here, too. I'm pretty sure that's where they store all the dead frogs. 
Let's hope not. Well, well, well. If it isn't my old enemy cabinet, we meet again. Dude, do you you and Cabinets have beef? Your death be in vain, little froggy. I shall wear you upon my head with pride. Oh, okay. The whole costume thing. <laughs> yes, I shall go with this. I now have a new friend to travel with me. I was not thinking they would actually let me in here, but okay. <laughs> Someone left their comb on the floor, or they squat to groom. I really don't know much about girls. Wait, what? <laughs> Sorry, you've been abandoned, little buddy. Want to comb with me? Yeah, just take I'd the comb. I'd rather punch my grandma than touch that. <laughs> That's the radiator. It keeps girls' butts. Damn, I guess nice grandma's stuff. gonna have to catch these hands for sure. Hey there, <laughs> hot stuff. Feels like burning flesh. Uh, these are sinks. I hope I don't have to explain that to you. Nah, nah, you're good. I'm not gonna sink to that level. Ha <laughs> ha. I've got more puns than friends. Yeah, they. Uh, I could. I could definitely see that. I don't think these actually work on boy hands. Pretty, pretty sure that's not how. Sometimes okay. I put these <laughs> in my mouth and pretend it's a gun. Holy shit. Yeah, I forgot how dark cyanide happiness is. <laughs> Tell me. Ha ha. I am such a teenage boy. <laughs> uh, my hair is super dry already. Thanks. Yeast. Hooray. Now I can bake a cake. Oh, no. Oh, no. Way. What are you doing here, yeast? This doesn't seem like a place for baking. Yeah, we're not going to talk about that one, buddy. Oh no, we can actually put it in our bag. Share of awful tasks, but getting yeast from the girls' bathroom is now right at the top of that list. Thanks for that. <laughs> You're welcome. Back <laughs> machine. Just help me out. Bathroom? That is not. I don't understand your purpose. You perplex and frighten me. Oh no, we can oh, take sweet. tampons too. A medicate. <laughs> <medicaid. laughs> critical wounds. Oh uh, yeah, the perfect. It's just take the fucking med kit, bro. And that's all we need. Take another one. Uh oh, I think I broke it. Whoops. Oh, fuck anybody else Grandma who tries to get it. Always wipe front to back, like reading a good book. What? You are the Pandora's box of the girls' bathroom. Feels like a soft double ply, perfect for delicate ass cheeks like mine. <laughs> this had girl lips all over it. Which lips? You be the judge. You and I should call in a bomb threat. Really? Really no. The, the dad jokes of this level is I don't know where that's excruciating. Been. It looks like a bunch of used red markers in there. We're not going to talk about that. I would talk to the toilet paper, but our conversations are usually pretty terrible. I don't know why, but I get the feeling I don't want to do that. Yeah, uh, yeah, no. Just, just testing you. Don't worry about it. Girls sit down to pee because they have vaginas. Just a little edutainment for no you. No shit. <laughs> edutainment. <laughs> I don't like to talk shit. I can never back it up. Okay. <laughs> How great would it be if I just left all the seats up? <laughs> I mean, that one's up, so you... pretty much nothing wrong with it at that point. Bright lights. Lighten up, will ya? That What's smoke it? detector hasn't stopped anyone. Pretty sure it doesn't even have batteries. Yeah, I wouldn't doubt it. It's too high, and you know it. <laughs> I'll leave the interrogations to the smoke detectives. Stop. If I hold a lighter up to that, no, must resist the urge. I need to find a lighter. <laughs> Do you sprinkle while they tinkle? Oh, really? Go, go, gadget arms. Damn, didn't work. 
Alright, let's go ahead and head out of here. I think we've explored it pretty much. Oh, no, no, never mind. This is the ugliest reflection I've ever seen. <laughs> bloody Mary, Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary. Damn, nothing. Oh, come on. That would have been nice if they actually did have some things. Uh, this is the wrong bathroom for me to touch myself. There hasn't been, like, many item interactions or, like, s animation towards it. That's the only thing that makes me sad. Of course, Holly's there. It's a good thing somebody altered this sign. Otherwise, kids would surely obey it and never smoke in here. <laughs> I'm confused, sign. The no in no smoking is crossed out, but so is the cigarette illustration. What are you trying to tell me? Just do both. <laughs> You're not going to believe this. It feels like a sign. Crazy, right? Yeah, definitely You're crazy. Good enough. You're smart enough, and gosh darn it, people like you. Oh. I can't even look myself in the eye. After saying all that. If I want to touch a crack, I'll touch my own. <laughs> okay. It's like staring at a petri dish full of infectious diseases. I wouldn't know what to say to it. I don't know. Maybe I'm oversinking this. Stop. Uh, somehow, my hands will be cleaner if I don't wash them in that sink. Yeah. Cold gel. Take your hair from lame to tame. Only test it on the coolest animals. Oh, on the coolest I animals, really? Talk to the hair gel in front of the cool boys. Sweet! Now I can look like a bona fide cool boy, too. Oh, God, I gotta see this. Oh, dear God. Cool boys, they don't give two shits about nothing. Uh, hey guys, better be careful. The hall monitor's on a tear out there. Psh, we ain't afraid of no stupid hall monitor. We make our own hall passes, cause we're so cool. Uh, okay. C can you make me one? Only if you do something for us. Oh what god. What is it? Don't tell me it's using my face for punching practice again. <laughs> Not this time, but we'll keep it in mind. Don't want to get rusty. Get us the ingredients to make some school hooch. A.K.A. Scooch, A.K.A. The Devil's Backwash, A.K.A. Toilet Wine. We like to get drunk toilet before Toilet Wine? Class. What? You mean that alcohol that prisoners make in the toilet? You Gross. disgusting mofos. Alright, here's a list of what we need. Fetch no. us what's on the list like a good little loser, and I'm good. we'll get to your hall pass. Toilet water. Don't share the list around, though. It's my mom's secret recipe. Hurry up and get us the shit we need, man. Old fruit, yeast, a plastic bag, and some sugar. Or are you here okay. for punching breakfast? We almost have everything. Uh, no thanks. Even though I don't, I don't want to have everything. I'm actually pretty good at it. <laughs> and make yourself a moving target and get out of here. Yeah. Make huh? like a toilet and go find our stuff. Wait, what? Dude, that doesn't even make sense. But being lame, well, you're gonna lose your leather privileges. I think you should take him away now. <laughs> I will buy Frog back. He he makes me feel safe. <laughs> I'll just sit here and stare at him to give him motivation. <laughs> hey, Let's go talk to him. Go away! I'm trying to pee. <gasps> Any minute now. Rushing rivers, waterfalls. <laughs> oh, Mr. Coffee. Oh. <sighs> I should really get my prostate checked. Unless it feels bad, mate. Like touching kids while they pee, do you? <laughs> do we really? Uh, I can't concentrate on peeing when you talk to me. I'm a terrible multitasker. Any way I can help? Sure. I have a quest for you. Can you bring me a roll of uh, privacy? <laughs> No. Hey, go away! I'm trying to pee. Oh, any minute now. <laughs> it's a urinal, the number one destination for all your number ones. Yeah, you tell that to the weirdos in the restroom that deliver number twos. Ah, a classic work of art by Marcel Duchamp. I usually like to piss at home, you know, where my face won't get shoved into it. Yeah, yeah, if, that sure I guess, is understandable. Interesting to look at. Uh, thanks for that. You're in a lot of trouble, mister. Got him. Stop. Those are the cool boys. They don't give two shits about nothing. 
I'm pretty sure those sprinklers are just for show to give us the illusion of safety in the event of a fire. <laughs> well, this is... Admit it, sprinkler. Know. If there was a fire, you wouldn't spurt out water to save me. You'd spurt out gasoline. Okay, what is up with you and gas? I can't reach it, but boy, do I wish that I could. The janitor hasn't touched this in ages. I'm not going to touch it either. <laughs> hey, counter. What was it like back in the day, you know, when you used to be clean? Uh, I don't... Stop. <laughs> I was saying, it just seems like the janitor just doesn't care should at this point. thankful to the radiator for giving us a warm place to poop. Yeah. I radiator. appreciate that. I barely knew her. hey -oh. It might be hot, you dingus. I mean, you touched the, the first one. It was burning flesh, so why not that one? <laughs> Um, have we went into this one? Huh? No, 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 no. We're gonna get a bit too like that didn't happen. Uh, Mr. Murphy's conspicuous red button. Okay, red button. I have to ask, how did the school board approve the budget for you to exist? Right. Everyone knows better than to touch Mr. Murphy's ominous red button. I don't think... Yeah, I'm gonna get away from Mr. Murphy. Yeah, he changes it every time. <laughs> Look at all these goody two-shoes students who have made it to the Hall of Fame. I'll never make it on there unless they make a Hall of Infamy. Oh, well... <laughs> Keep it up, everyone. I hope this is the only recognition you ever get, you fucking jerks. <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> Touching their photos is as close as I'll ever get to actually touching them. Uh, okay. You shouldn't have what said that nice one. Desk. Creepy. I'm gonna write about it in my journal tonight. I don't speak desk. I could feel the memories of a hundred years worth of boogers stuck to this. Yeah, let's not do that now one. that's <laughs> a desk if I've ever seen one. Whip. This desk was donated from a local prison. It was deemed too cruel to make the prisoners use such a crappy desk. Many a drooling face has slept here. You know what they say, if you've seen one desk, you've got to pull out your catalog of viewed desks and add it to the list. Wait, what? This one is alright, but I hear the ladies are into really big desks. Eh? Ah, <laughs> yes, these things are great for discarding your gum. Ah, uh, yeah, that one yep, too. That's a desk, all right. When are we gonna get some of those fancy standing desks? What a nice desk. I'm gonna write about it in my journal. Now that's a desk if I've ever seen one, which I have. This desk was donated from a local prison. It was deemed too cruel to... Okay. I'm here for you, desk, if you ever need to talk. Solid, sturdy craftsmanship, A-plus desk. Look, I know I don't have many friends, but do I really have to stoop to the level of talking to a desk? Yes. What are you plotting, desk, if that's your real name? Big shout out to the trees who sacrificed their lives to become uncomfortable desks. Right. Dude, these desks were like really uncomfortable back you then. Like they were the worst. Me. Just kidding, we're cool. Like cramped as fuck. This I hated so them. so sad. Alexa, play desk pasito. <sighs> a PewDiePie joke. I only speak Long when with spoken a to. Joke. Well, you nobody speaks that. to me, so I guess that's not true. It feels firm. Almost like it's made out of wood or something. <laughs> Ouch! Yet another splinter from one of these damn desks. Okay, there. I touched it. Happy now? No, touch it again. I'd rather not. You know these desks have never been cleaned, right? Then your janitor just that fucking the terrible. Said no, and I need to respect its space. <laughs> nah. Whoa, it's made of military grade liquid metal. Just kidding, it's a fucking wooden desk. <laughs> it's a projector. It projects things. What the hell else do you want to know about it? Lots of things. I command thee to project an image upon thine wall. Oh wait, that's not how this works. I normally use this projector to wipe the boogers off my hands. Wow, oh, oh god. Yeah, let's leave it's that alone then. Pencil, but if you ask me, it's number one for popping lockers. 
Wait, what? Someone once said that nobody's perfect, and that's why pencils have erasers. But people don't come with erasers, so that's a stupid analogy. <laughs> my pencil You're now. Coming with me, my groovy graphite companion. Sorry, Mr. Murphy, it's mine now. If my teacher was a space explorer, I could call this Jean-Luc Placard. If my teacher was a computer, I would call this Hewlett Placard. If my teacher was a football team, this would say Green Bay Placards. Please don't make me keep going. No, you can stop right there. <laughs> Star Murphy. Wow, I can read. <laughs> Last time I did that, Mr. Murphy flogged me. It was painful, but still gentle to my needs. Um. Huh? What? I still can't unsee what was on the other side of that chalkboard. Yeah. <laughs> Good chalking to you. You stop that. I better not. I'm afraid of my fingers getting caught in the gears and whatever other weird shit is behind there. <laughs> Why is every other country labeled not America? <laughs> Hello, planet Earth. I'm ready to graduate and make you a better place. Because right now, you're pretty awful. Yeah, definitely right if now. If I were to tear that down, it'd be like tearing the whole world down. I'm just a kid. I'm not ready for that kind of responsibility. Uh, you're ready for it. Dude, go for it. It's Mr. Murphy's desk. He hardly ever leaves it, and I don't like it when I can't see his hands. Yeah, I didn't even notice that. Room. How does that feel? Hatred. I'd love to use his desk, but first I need a doctorate in teacherology. I don't want to look at whatever kinky stuff is on there. Hey, you do. Are you being abused, computer? You can tell me. I don't want to interfere with Mr. Murphy's Craigslist ad. <laughs> I don't really need to study with these math books. So, books, what's it like being completely neglected? Wait, don't answer that. I already know. Ah, oh, feels bad. No, thanks. I prefer comic books. Yeah, same. Please tell me I'm having a fever dream. That's what this is, right? No, Jesus it's reality. Christ? What the hell? Mr. Murphy? <laughs> what the hell are you doing? I know it was okay, an answer. I can see that, but why have you gagged yourself? <laughs> Suit yourself, but I really think this is inappropriate for school. <laughs> Why don't you do this at home? <laughs> don't you think that's taking your tenure too far? <laughs> Good point. Uh, okay. Do you need help? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't think I'm flexible enough to pull off the necessary amount of torque. Okay, he did No, we can stop this conversation. What's that, boy? <laughs> Is little Timmy stuck in a well? Show me, boy, show me. <laughs> oh, he's not stuck and he's hiding from you? Oh. Is that even possible before Labor Day? <laughs> Suit yourself. No pun intended. Will you go to prom with me? <laughs> Fine by me. You weren't my first choice for a prom date anyway. I get fucked. <laughs> I'm gonna try to repress this from my memory. Bye. <laughs> I swear. I it's get with this game. For files. I'll... You've served your master well, filing cabinet. May you retire soon and move on to greener pastures. As much as I'd love to go through all the old class papers in there, I think I'll pass for now. Ah, get it, pass off. Um, I think that's everything in here. Except for Mr. Murphy. Fuck no! <laughs> Sorry to interrupt your, uh, business again, but I had some more burning questions to ask. <laughs> Pretty good guess, but I had different questions in mind. <laughs> I'm gonna try to. <laughs> okay, we we've talked to everything that we can. Yeah, make sure I don't miss anything. Come on up here. A skull sticker. God damn, that's cool. 
<laughs> hey! Damn, it's stuck on there with permanent glue. Get fucked. Should I be worried that half of the so-called fire exits in this school were welded shut years ago? Oh, well, damn. Okay. What if I don't Just... want to exit during a fire? Did you ever consider that, you selfish prick sign? <laughs> huh, it's made of highly flammable paper. If the school caught on fire, this would be one of the first things to go. How helpful. <laughs> oh god, I gotta really just picture it now. Damn, the door's locked. I can't go there without a hall pass. I can't go there without a hall pass. It's a poster for the debate club. No thanks, I can't even win an argument with grandma. Of course, Grandma's superior really when it comes to that. Arguing with a poster is a good idea. Yeah. It feels like a poster, but that's debatable. How so? Yeah, I didn't. I didn't want to come back in this room. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I can't go there without a hall pass. Then I, we don't have anybody to make a hall pass for us. That's Holly. She keeps law and order in the halls, but often turns a blind eye when I'm getting bullied. Right. What Asshole. You <laughs> Are you playing hooky? I'm keeping these halls safe. Everything the fluorescent light touches is my jurisdiction. Speaking of which, what are you doing out of class? I'm helping some other students with a favor. A favor? Like what? Helping them steal classroom supplies? Helping them hide a Maybe. body? Helping them break the law? What? Uh, no. I'm helping them with a group assignment. Oh, really? Then where's your holly pass, huh? Unless the group assignment is crime! Do I look like a criminal to you? <laughs> That's yes. just what a criminal would say. You've got nothing on me. I'll tell you what I have on you. My eyes, so don't push it. Okay, jeez, got it. <laughs> okay, Holly. You know, you take your duties way too seriously. Too seriously? Do you realize just how important my job is? Without no. <laughs> me, this place would be teeming with hooky playing miscreants and rogue school shooters. Uh, I'm the only thing that okay, stands sure. between order and chaos in this school. Without me, the whole establishment would crumble and fall like Nero's Rome. Wow, yeah, okay. <laughs> that sounds pretty important. What happens if you're absent for a day? Usually they prop my vest up with a mop. Seems to get the job done. Huh. Huh. For sure. I'm sick and I need to go home. Uh, cough. The way you said cough instead of actually coughing isn't exactly convincing me you're sick. Damn, you're good. Call pass <laughs> or no pass. Can't you just pretend you didn't see me and let me go? Pretend I didn't see you? No chance. I'm as bad at pretending as I am good at seeing. If I Wait, see what? something, <laughs> I'm gonna say something! Loudly! Wow, I'm seeing something now, all right. But I think it's in my best interest not to say something. Right. Have I <laughs> pepper spray? Okay, don't pepper spray me. Come on. Finger. Don't waste my time. I'm gonna go find a hall pass. See you later, Holly. All right, but I've got my eye on you. If you even so much as try to sneak me a phony pass, I get to chop your boogery hands off. Huh? I can't go there without a hall pass. Okay, so then I'm still missing an item. So we need a plastic bag. So we've been pretty much everywhere that I know of. I can't go there without a hall. Okay, where's the plastic bag, butter? Hey, brother. I just can't get over how insane your face looks. <laughs> I know, right? The only worst fate that I can imagine is somebody not being able to see my face in its current state. 
<laughs> you mean, like if it was obscured by a random object, preventing an onlooker from being able to see just how fascinatingly mangled it truly is? <laughs> Precisely. He's just looking over. <laughs> ah, a scenic view of a terrible world. Yeah. Drop the act, window. I can see right through you. And get streaks on the window? Oh, look. It's a book. Big fucking surprise. Uh, nice to meet you, books. I have no reason to sit around here and read about history all day. Yeah, we need to find this damn plastic baggie. Pretty these guys can drink wine. Toilet wine. I would think there would be one in here somewhere then. Mixing some chemicals, eh? What are you making? According to my calculations, they should. Uh oh. Will you go to prom with me? <laughs> That'd be an experiment. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Experiment on me. Ew, gross. No. Aw. Oh. Oh, we tried, buddy. We tried to get you a girlfriend. It didn't. It didn't work out. It's completely packed with all sorts of useless stuff. Huh? The fuck? Just happened. <laughs> that must be the drain where my hopes and dreams went. Yeah, mine's too. I'm sending that idea right down the drain. Yeah, go ahead. Why don't you go touch your own sink? Nah, I will after this, after I go make something to eat. <laughs> um... Dude, do you not have any baggies in here? Like, the fuck, dude? Side slab, no baggie? Fine. Hey. It's okay. I can wait till he finishes. Uh, how's your record going? Better not interrupt his world record attempt. Then he'll just have to start over again. You go, guy. Drink all that water. <laughs> Walter. 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 Yeah, Walter. Make sure nobody else gets a turn. <laughs> Better not interrupt his. I'm not drinking that. Wow, he's still going. What was it like when your grandfather segregated people? <laughs> really? You're gonna ass water that? All right, my guy. Necronomicon. Uh, why is the Book of the Dead in my high school? question is, why aren't no you way. reading it? I'm not gonna say, Klaatu, Barada, Nikto. It'll unleash the army of the dead. Ah, oh, crap. I miss it when books were made with human skin. Uh, I wish it would have actually released, like, the actual I shit, that dude. that book really sucks you in. Might have to check it out sometime. I wish when you interacted with things that he said, you know, like, certain things like the Necro come. Necro thing just summoning a whole bunch of evil people. That would be actually pretty cool. <laughs> I hope I'm not being too forward when I say you're a very attractive book. Okay. Nice binding. Very good book. Fit for a king. Two things. One, it's not an audiobook. And two, audiobooks talk to you, not the other way around. Yeah. <laughs> this one is called Fifty Shades of Hay, the story of Catherine the Great's love affair with a horse. Huh? Oh, so we're going down the bestiality route, all right? Because it's sticky. Oh, yeah, we're not gonna touch that one. We're good. <laughs> huh? A big sale in town. How come our cafeteria doesn't serve anything this appetizing? You're cute as a cupcake, poster. Which is something no one has ever said to me. Yeah, cause maybe because you have a dead frog on your head. Damn, it's not a scratch and sniff poster. Meth club? Oh, math. I need to read gooder. <laughs> the math checks out. That feels nice. Thanks for that. I wonder if this recycle sticker was made from other recycled stickers. Ah, probably Don't tell not. tell me what to do. This is Murica. I'll litter if I want to. America. It feels like future trash. Oh, okay. <laughs> I 
wouldn't join the anime club if you held two gun swords to my head. Ah, oh, what the fuck, dude? Its DPI is over 9,000! Hmm, yes. This feels like a real poster. Rod's Thick Pizza is hiring. I feel bad for anyone willing to sit on his hiring couch. Oh, oh, oh. I hate myself for even knowing that reference. Catch you later, <laughs> Pizza Flyer. Looking or talking is as close to this thing as I'm getting. It's a plastic zip baggie. If you really need more detail than that, I can't help you. Okay, here's the zip bag. Are you trying to escape from the trash can, little baggie? I'll save you. Yeah, we're gonna save you. Grabbing a plastic bag from the trash. I feel like I just saw a glimpse into my future. <laughs> well, you better hope it doesn't go true, buddy. I can't go there without a hall pass. All right, so we got everything that we needed. Give to the cool kids. Hey, losers. Those are the cool boys. We got your stuff. Touching them would be a one-way ticket to Drown Town via the toilet. <laughs> Here you go. Whoa, you came through. I knew you'd do whatever we say, like a little bitch. Damn. You <laughs> the fuck as you look. Uh, thanks? Yeah, we have your stupid hall pass ready. And if you tell anyone you got it from us, we'll cut you so many times, you'll be begging for a stab. Huh? Uh, I won't. I promise. <laughs> yes, hall pass is done. Wait, what? What the fuck? <laughs> Sweet! My very own fake hall pass! Finally! Freedom at my fingertips! Let's see Holly try to stop me now! Fuck yeah! Freedom! Thanks for playing the Freak Apocalypse. No, I was enjoying myself. Ah. I was having fun. But it's actually a good thing that it ended because I really need to lay down and sleep off these allergies. But thank you guys for joining. I will see you guys tomorrow for finishing more of the rest of these demos I'm interested in. I'm definitely going to add this one to the wish list. And I'll be looking forward to it. Whenever it, whenever it comes out. Who knows. <laughs> I didn't plan on having something else to play. After I was done with all the demos. But I didn't expect allergies to come out of nowhere. And just screw me over. <laughs> as I was just enjoying. Playing all these games. I know the last like. Five games are going to be really fun tomorrow to play. But with that said. Hope you guys enjoy. I will see you guys on the next one. Until then. Peace out. You guys have a fantastic night.